All right. Fixing ropes, part two. And you see the ropes getting a little bit straighter. So, you know, going against the grain has been working. Fixing one wave at a time, just about. Wherever the waves are looking crooked, that's where you want to start against the grain. We kind of got on the right side kind of fluctuating. It's going the way it's supposed to be going. This uh, this strong side right here still needs a little bit more work. So, uh, going against the grain. Yeah, hair is very, very dry. Hair is very dry, so we're gonna need some some kind of conditioner on it. Yeah. Crown is looking real tight. Crown came together real good. A little bit of crookedness right there. So yeah. Pop that up right there. See what I'm saying? It's, it's a problem. Oh yeah, it's real, real dry. Very, very dry. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put some, I'm gonna have to put some conditioner right there. Uh, no spots in the, uh, that's about where the, where the air gets real dry at. You know what I mean? Shit don't stay silky. This is a Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Curling Cream. The stuff works good. The stuff works really good. Smells good. You know, that's what I like about it. The stuff smells really good. You know. The stuff smells really, really, really good. You know? A lot of people, you know, they just like to put this on top of their top of their hair, on top of the wave. That's not going to... See, if you just put this on top of the hair, it's not really going to get it to wave down okay you have to make sure that your pores everything is absorbing this stuff you know just don't want to put it on top of uh, already trained hair waves and then brush it over the waves because that's just it's just ruining your product you know so you're just wasting product right there you know what I mean you want to make sure the stuff gets up in your head you know what I mean um, Make sure it get up, get all up in there. Doesn't take much. In fact, that's about it right there. And then uh, this is a Cantu Grow Strong Shea Butter Grow Strong. This is like a strengthening treatment. So what this is going to do is that I put this up on my fragile ends. This is where those kits that I used to be using a lot. These kits have kind of messed up my hair a little bit. So you know, I kind of. I put more precautions around that. So, you know, if you if you starting to, you know, borderline hairline going away and stuff, you might want to put this grow strong, you know what I mean, around your hairline and stuff, just to make sure you have a strong, healthy hairline, you know what I mean? With all them lineups and stuff, it's the same thing as using chemicals, you know what I mean? People don't understand that, but, you know, when you... You go to the bar, if you go to a barbershop all the time, you know, you get them lineups all the time. You know, our brothers be wanting to look all nice and clean and cut and stuff. That stuff is not good for your uh, scalp. And over time, you know, your hairline won't come back. You know, you, you have a nice lineup, you know, everything all nice and everything. But all of a sudden, that won't come back like how it used to because you keep on and you know it, it irritates the scalp so it makes the hair not want to grow back there so you know this stuff you know keeps your you know I mean, your joints healthy and that's what you want to have you want to have some healthy joints okay all right this stuff's in it uh, okay the first thing that we do is that we comb this in basically what i'm doing is that i'm getting ready to brush my hair And be like, oh, why can't you just brush it just like that? Oh, you can't really brush your hair like that. If you have waves, if you already have waves, you got to prepare 
to brush your hair. You just can't brush it. You know what I'm saying? We don't want us waver. We don't want to just start brushing our hair and waste time. You know what I'm saying? I want every minute of the brush to be contributing to me having better waves. You know what I mean? So as you start to have waves and you start to brush your hair, you have to take the recommended time to actually brush your hair for the brush to do what it's supposed to do, which is make more waves or get better waves. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still about the brush. You know what I mean? It's gonna be about that brush. It's just, uh, as you start to get, you know, used to brushing, as you start to get better at it, other things come into play. You know what I'm saying? Like at first, when you're trying to lose weight or get muscle, it's all about going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that. You know what I'm saying? Once you do that, then everything else will fall into place. Then after a while, once you start getting a little bit buff, once you start getting a little size on you, this it, it starts to get harder to see gains because it's more to it than just going to the gym now. Now we have to see what we eat. And, you know what I'm saying? We got to make sure that what we're doing up in the kitchen is going to put what we're doing up at the gym. You know what I'm saying? And then we have to go into, you know, are we drinking enough water? You know what I'm saying? Uh, are there anything else that's inhibiting us from taking it to the next level? See, so it's all about that. So at first, when you want waves, yeah, it's all about the brush. Yeah, brush your hair. But once you already have waves, once you already have them, starts coming about the combs, um, starts coming about the creams, you know, shampoos, you know, all that other stuff that you didn't even think about starts to come into play once you start to take your wave to the next level. And if you have all that stuff, if you have all the combs, all the latest brushes, the latest Torianos, pomade, grease, all that stuff, you still ain't got waves, grow some dreads. It's just not happening. This wave is not for everybody, you know. If you got all that stuff, still ain't got waves, man. You just, you know, you're not made to be a wavy person. Like some dudes, I don't care what you take. You take all of them steroids and stuff, and you still not buff, you know what I'm saying? It's not, not being big is not for everybody, you know? If that was the case, everybody would be all big and ripped, you know? It's not for everybody. You can be black and have hair, but, you know, might not be wavy if you don't want to put it in the work, though. You know what I mean? I don't care if you have naturally curly hair. If you don't put that work towards it, it is not going to swirl around like this naturally. It's not. So, anyway, back on point. Once we got the waves in there, you know what I mean? Once we got the chemicals up in there. Well, not chemicals. I don't know why I say that. These are, these. this is natural products. You know what I'm saying? It's natural, bro. Okay. Once we got our product in that we want to use, it's all the way in there. So one thing I like about this comb is that this comb lets me know when my hair is dirty a lot better than the other one. Where all I got to do is look up in this comb and if I see a lot, it's time for a wash. If I don't see that much on it, we doing all right. That's what I love about these combs. They really get that that dirt and gritter out your scalp before we start brushing. Because it's important to brush clean hair. Because when we brushing, you know, that can make a fork. Now, you get like a little rock or a little chip, something, something that this comb wouldn't take out, you know what I mean? You got that embedded up in their wave and then you start brushing, 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 and all of a sudden you take the do-rag off and you got a piece of your skin showing, I guarantee you, it was probably from a little mineral. I'm telling you, gotta make sure that your hair is clean before you're doing all that brushing. Gotta make sure nothing in our hair. 
If you see a little speck, just keep on combing till we don't see no specks, till we don't see no flakes coming out. Then we're ready to brush. I can't brush nothing if it's all dirty, you know? Okay, it's just about in there. Everything is just about in there. Okay, now that the comb is done with, comb is all done with. Now we're ready to brush. We're gonna start the cycle with the hard brush. This is a hard brush right here. They don't really make these too much anymore. I don't really see them a lot. This one. Ooh. See how dirty this is? I don't like going in. I don't like going in with a dirty brush. Oh, see that? See that? That just came from this brush right here. Yeah. Whoa. Uh-uh. Hey, man, I didn't even know my shoe was this dirty. Oh, never mind. Uh, never mind. I think I'm going to use another brush. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with my uh, big wave brush right here, the big waves. You know what I'm saying? Even it does big things. Even though I don't really like this brush too much, I need to get another one. Let me tell you all about these brushes right here. If you got these old school brushes, these are... These little uh, bristles, they're supposed to be straight down. Okay, these bristles should be straight down. See, so they're slanted sideways. Okay, so what that means is that when you brush, your hair is going to be going slightly to the left or to the right. Now, that's not what you want as wavers. Okay, as a waver, you want your hair to be going straight as possible, wavy as possible within your own pattern. See, so what this is, what this is doing is that this is shifting my pattern and I'm not even trying. So what you got to do is that you have to maneuver this brush instead of doing it the long way, you got to brush like this. Okay, that's the only way to make sure that the ropes stay aligned. You see that? Y'all might not be able to see it good, but I'm telling you, it's a big difference from combing it like this. It wants to go to the right, but coming it like that, it comes straight down. You see? And that's where those side waves are coming from. So you gotta be you gotta be mindful to your uh, brushes too. You know what I mean? I, I, the only reason why I keep using this one is because you know it's got a it's got a gray handle on it because I got I got big old fat hands, so I need something to hold. You know. I need something to hold, so you know it, this'll this'll do what it's gotta do until I get me something new, you know. But yeah, if you're having a problem, you know, twisting, if you're having a problem getting your waves to connect, you might want to check out your brushes. Bristles sideways. This is not our friend. That's not good that's something that's looked bad on in the wave community because when it's time to brush you know we want to make sure everything's kind of straight and see this is this is making things a lot more difficult especially as my hair is manageable you see this brush would be no big deal but since the uh the cocoa butter and stuff that we just put up in our hair to kind of lay it down is making my hair more manageable so that any type of movement is going to get it to move out from its original pattern because it's kind of wet right now due to the uh, the cocoa butter and stuff that we just put in it, the curling cream. So this can only be used as like a forefront to get the bases down. Now I gotta go to another brush. Um, mm, let me try my little corner brush right here. This little 
this little corner brush. See, I need to give me a little another one. Now what this one is gonna do is that, you see how it's, it's a lot of overlapping over here, right? It's a lot of overlapping. So, you know, there's nothing that you can do about that either. You just gotta try to get most of the ropes as you can in, okay? And once you get closer to the crown, you gotta start going through it. You gotta start going through that crown because you just can't be combing around the crown and not actually touch that crown because then you'll have a whole bunch of trained hair, uh, untrained hairs up in the crown just sticking up like alfalfa. Trust me, it's not what you want. You don't wanna, you don't wanna have to put grease on your crown. After, you know, saying before you put a wave cap on just to hold that hair down. You want that hair to be trained on its own. So, that's what you gotta do. You gotta take a lot of brushing. And you gotta brush through it. Now it's gonna look like you're messing up your pattern for a little bit, but it's not, trust me. What you're doing is that you're just hitting those annoying hairs that don't like to get hit because they're always laid down. But you still gotta train them. But if you don't train them, they're not gonna lay down as good as they could. See what I'm saying? That's why you never, that's why the brush is never over with if you're waving. Because our hair is always growing. So it's constantly going to try to find new directions, new avenues of where to go. So it's up to you as the person and as the brush to keep the hairs in line, keep them all tamed. You know, it's okay to grow. We're just going to grow this way. You know, it's okay to shine. We just want these, these waves to shine. Okay. Still see the alfalfa in the back, you know. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of overlapping, but you'll fix it in though. Okay. Let's go to uh let's go to softy. I like these medium softy ones. This kind of can give you the right sense of if the pattern is going in a, a correct direction. You know, sometimes our hair can play tricks on us, you know. You think you're brushing it right and you're brushing it wrong. You know, so you got to pay attention to every little strain of hair that you got. You got to pay attention to it. Because black people hair is like black people. You know, stubborn. You know, it's just not going, it's just not going to flow just because you say you want waves now. You know, you're going to have to really stay on it. You're going to have to really stay on it. You know, we can do anything in the world, but you got to stay on it though. You know, minutes you got, you, got, you got to make sure that you keep a constant record of how long you're doing this for you know what I'm saying if it's if it's taking you if it's taking you a lot longer than it used to then we're doing something wrong if it's not taking you as long as it used to to get a pattern going we're doing something right the hair is being trained 
because it shouldn't take you forever to find back your pattern. You know what I mean? I don't care. I don't care if you've been wolfing the whole year. If you've been doing your job, if you've been brushing, combing consistently and daily, your pattern should be back in no time. Whatever you do in your hair. Don't worry about that alfalfa thing. Yeah, it's gonna go down. The wave cap will hold that down. Last thing that you want to do, or you can do the first thing though. Too, you can do this first or last thing. It doesn't really matter. There's a crown work. Crown work has to be done all by itself because it's a lot of uh, cross contamination that can happen where our hair starts to grow at. Everybody hair starts to grow right here in the back. So you kind of want to isolate this from other parts of your head because we're going to have the most hair come in here and the more nappy, the most of nappiness because we're having all sorts of directions come right here. See what I'm saying? So in order to get this swiveling, you got to take this and Isolate this away from the rest of your hair. Okay. What I mean by that is that, you know, what I just did right there with the hard brush, uh, you need to go to a small light brush. Because if you mess up this part, the rest of your head is going to be messed up as well. So you kind of want to make sure that everything is spinning right, right here. You don't want to brush. Another thing is that you don't want to brush like how you would normally on the top of your head or on the sides of your head. Okay. You don't want you don't want long strokes. Okay, right here we want long strokes. Okay, because we're trying to connect all the ropes around. So you're gonna want those kind of strokes around this crown. To get this to swirl, you don't want long strokes. What you want is that you just want to feather. You just want to feather it, okay? Kind of like uh, digging up a dinosaur. You know, you don't want to start digging up the dirt and tearing up bones, okay? So you, you, you just got to feather the dirt around the bones so you can reveal what you're trying to dig up, which is the skeleton, okay? You're just trying to float the nappiness hair, float it around so we, we can reveal the ropes and the 360 spin. That's what you want. You want to reveal that spiral. You want that tornado. You know, you want that tsunami right there. You know, you don't want a bald spot. You don't want people to see that that's where your hair is growing. You want people to see a design. So you have to float, flutter your hair around the design that you're trying to achieve. Okay? Now, it took me a while in the way of game to really do this, though, too, because I used to think that, well, I'm a waiver saying, you know, brush hard from the center of your crown all the way down. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Once you start having a crown, once you start to see it, you got to figure out what type of crown you want. Now, if you want your crown to be open, if you want your crown to be open, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want your crown to be closed, you want it to be spinning, you're going to have to take a little bit of time on it. I know y'all want to hurry up and brush and get it over with, but when it's coming to this part of the hair, ain't no rush. If, you, if you're in a hurry, we don't have time to do crown work, then just put the wave cap on. You know what I'm saying? There's no rush in crown work. Okay? 
You want to be like your favorite waivers and stuff. You know, they not, trust me, they not rushing this part. You know what I mean? They taking their time up on this crown because, you know, it's hard to get this to spin. This is the hardest part to get to spin. This right here is the hardest part. Once you get this spinning, waving is easy. It is. When I scalped, all the waves came back. This was the last part to come back. I'm telling you. Makes me think twice about scalping again or using kits or doing anything harmful to my hair to cut it off. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody want to do all this over again. That's why you don't see a lot of your top waivers scalping. Because nobody want to do this all over again. You know what I'm saying? Your stuff is a pain in the butt. Like, if I lost my hair again, that's it. I'm not even waving no more, man. I'm done. I'm about to be the buffest, bald-headed dude. You know? That's it. I'm done waving. I, I did it. I tried it. You know? I, I didn't need a business off of it. Just a free brush, a wave cap. Some girls, I'm good. Yeah, I was killing them, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? And you gotta make sure to laugh too, man. You gotta, you know, don't take this brush and stuff so seriously, you know? You gonna be in the mirror for hours, you know what I'm saying? Try to make it fun, you know what I'm saying? Try to, try to do something, because if you don't have fun, you're not gonna wanna do this. And then if you don't do this, you're not going to accomplish your goals of getting waved. So make sure that whatever you do, have fun doing it. Okay, uh, that concludes the tutorial on how to get started with brushing and swirling. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on uh, my uh, Instagram at Walker's Waves. I also have a fan page, Walker's Way fan page. You know, I'll be posting up mostly hair stuff on that one though, but mine will be all kind of motivational stuff. You know, Dragon Ball Super stuff. My nerds, my buff, my bodybuilder dudes, you know what I'm saying? You know, make sure to stop by, you know, drop a like, drop a comment. Remember, keep the brushes moving. You can do it. Walker knows the way.